Hey you guys, it's your girl Tisa. I wanna go ahead and shout out Barb Pulaski. She's one of the first ones to send me this story. It's coming from Ferguson, Missouri. And it has to do with a 25 year old woman. Her name is Sheree Bradford. And she was basically found in her apartment nude. Um, she had been shot with a bullet to the back of the head. They have since found the killer and his name is Stacy Gear. He's 20 years old. And basically what happened is that she had met him on Facebook. Um, she agreed to meet with him for sex. She's also a mother to a six-year-old daughter. He came over there to have sex with her. Eventually ended up killing her, taking her money, taking her cell phone, and eventually her body was found a few hours later. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these news clips. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, Melody, the apartment where the victim lived is surrounded by surveillance cameras. Her family members are confident the killer was captured on video entering and leaving the building. A relative found 25-year-old Sheree Bradford's nude body face down on her bed Saturday night in her Versailles apartment. Now, the complex is located in the 1500 block of North Winds Estate Drive in Ferguson. And while the cause of death is not known, family members say Bradford was lying in a pool of blood. They believe the person responsible for her death is a man she met on Facebook last week and dropped by her home for the first time Saturday night. They say the man is mentally ill and has a long criminal record of violent crimes against women. We didn't know this until everybody started posting things on Facebook about him. They like they know he did this and we know he did this. Yeah. My daughter is killed. My daughter is murdered because of this. Mm -hmm. Because of this. There are surveillance cameras strategically placed around the apartment complex. Family members say major case detectives took the video from those cameras. The detectives have been coming and going from the Ferguson Police Department all day following leads they hope will lead to the suspect, but so far they have not commented about the case. Family members tell me Bradford was an aspiring nurse and mother of a six-year-old daughter. They say they're thankful the child wasn't home when her mother was killed. And Ferguson, I'm Shirley Washington. Suspect has been arrested and charges have now been filed against a man who allegedly took the life of a mother from Ferguson. 20-year-old Stassi Greer is charged with first-degree murder, armed criminal action, and robbery in the shooting death of Shay Ray Bradford. Police say Greer took the victim's cell phone and rent money. Bradford was known to her friends as Ray Ray and was found shot to death in her home in Ferguson. All right, so you guys Saturday. just watched the news clip. So a lot of things bother me with this story. One, with this woman being 25 years old, she was a single mother. She had a six-year-old daughter. So this entire situation is really sad because now you have a child who's left out here motherless. You know, and I see a lot of people going in, you know, talking about how stupid she was. You know, what a stupid mistake. How do you hook up with somebody off of Facebook? And I noticed that it's very easy for a lot of people to just sit back and judge or how people act like if you meet somebody off of the internet, that's just so bad and that's so wrong. But yet and still, people can meet somebody at a mall or at the movie theater and not even know them for 24 to 48 hours and they're going on a date with them or they're talking to them or they're inviting them over. I feel like in this day and age, a lot of people have gotten comfortable, point blank, period. And I don't think you should be comfortable or act like somebody's more safe because you meet them face to face. That means nothing. You know, I don't have a problem with people meeting online there's nothing wrong with online dating there's nothing wrong with meeting people off of facebook meeting people off of dating sites but you have to be smart you know what i'm saying there's no difference between meeting somebody on facebook and running into somebody on the street at the end of the day, they're both strangers. You don't know that man from a can of paint, nor do you know that person on Facebook from a can of paint. They're sending you their representative and so is that man on the street. And as women and as young people, we have to be smart. You don't invite somebody that you don't know like that back to your apartment. Thank God the little girl was not there because she could have easily been killed. What's sad is that this woman felt the need to prostitute herself because her rent was due. You know, I really wish she had a support system or somebody that she could have turned to like her mother or her friends or, you know, her baby's father to ask them for money to help her. Sad that she felt the need to prostitute herself on Facebook to try and pay her rent. He had absolutely no intentions of giving her any money or helping her pay her rent. He came with one motive and that was to rob and kill her. And it's really, really sad. And I think that instead of people judging her so harshly, they need to take this as a lesson learned. Because to me, a lot of people get comfortable. They feel like, you know, they're better than because I'm dating some that I met off the street, or I'm dating some that I met at the movie theater, or I'm dating some that I met at a club. And at the end of the day, that person that you met at the club 
club, you don't know them any more than that person that you're meeting off of Tinder. You know what I'm saying? You have to vet people. You have to get to know them. We need to stop being so thirsty. Yes, it gets lonely being single. And yes, it's hard, you know, and everybody's looking for that right person and looking for, you know, Mr. Right. But you have to be smart because not everybody means you well. You know, you have a lot of guys who are saying that she's stupid and she's an idiot, but then some of these same guys who are judging her, they have no problem going on back pages and finding prostitutes and finding, you know, escorts and things like that on back pages for a one night stand. And these same prostitutes could set them up, could have guys come in there and rob them. So a lot of people put themselves in stupid situations that they need to think about twice. So to me, I think that people need to take this as a lesson learned on what not to do. And if things ever get to the point where you're that desperate for money or that you're that desperate, you know, to pay your rent or that you need money for something, you have to be able to have backup options. She could have went down to social services, asked them to pay her rent for that month. They would have helped her out. She could have went to her church, her family members. You know, I just wish she would have reached out to a few other options as opposed to meeting a stranger on Facebook and then taking him back to her home and sleeping with him and getting killed. So there's no winners in this situation. I do feel bad for her. You know, at the end of the day, she is a victim in all this. Did she play a part in her demise? Yes, she did. But she's still a victim and nobody deserves to be killed in that manner. Nobody deserves to be found by their family members in that manner. And the fact that a six-year-old child has been left motherless is just really, really heartbreaking. A lot of people have put themselves in stupid situations when it comes to meeting folks, you know, getting in cars with people that you don't know that well, getting in cars with strangers, meeting people up on dates. We we just have to be smart, you know what I mean, when it comes to meeting people online or meeting people face to face. You have to vet people out. You have to listen to your gut instinct. There's nothing wrong with taking your own car and meeting with somebody, you know, so you have to be smart. Use your instinct. And I know for me as a woman and as a parent, I always think about my kids first and foremost before any decision, especially something like that when it comes to dating. You know, is this person trustworthy? Is this person worth me going out? You know what I'm saying? Because you want to make it back home. You want to see your kids again. You know, so it can be, be very, very dangerous out here. You have a lot of just crazy people. So as adults and as females and as males, we have to be smart and not put ourselves in these particular situations. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.